Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Exilia 2. It has been a while since the last episode, I must apologize for that. I had a bunch of shit I need to do. But anyway... Trying to actually activate for that DLC I actually had from the beginning. Oh, look at all this useless junk. Why did I get that? So we can dress up our characters really stupidly. Because why not, right? Oh god, no, why? Uh, alright. <laughs> Look, it is emo looker. God, that looks terrible. What? I can wear layers beret. <laughs> the actual hell. That just looks stupid on looker. Uh, let's just wear someone's hat. Cause hats. I need to get it to match his shirt! Why can't I do that? Fuck this stupid palette crap. Maybe I can do this. If it works, which it doesn't. Yeah, good enough. Uh, I do not know what I'm doing here. Alright. That just really pisses me off. I don't know why. I don't know what shit's going through. Uh. I better hurry up with this shit before this becomes customization in the episode. Uh, maybe rotate a little. Uh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just to make it look a bit better. Right. Now I look like some kind of weird fucking pirate with a bow with a tie. Looks like some kind of fucking One Piece character. <laughs> anyway. Thank you. 
You're crazy old man. Right, so I need to meet this informer at Duval Station. Oh, I can't even go at the moment. So without further ado, let's actually get back on that train. Something. Oh, there we go. What's his star about? I figured you were a no-show. Sorry I'm late. So, uh... Oh god, this that's is your informant? So yep, Jude, meet Jolene. Call me whatever you want, cutie. Anyway, you know why we're here. The train hijacking, right? Maybe I know something, maybe I don't. I'm guessing it depends on whether we have money or info to trade, right? Hey. So that's the real story. It's true. I saw it all too. <laughs> Good stuff. Guess it's my turn to share. Word on the street is Brat's been funneling a certain something something to Exodus. Brat? That's the name of the government around these parts, right, Jolene? Supposedly. Meaning? No dice. I like living. What are they sending? Weapons? Nope. Guess again. Spirit fossils and boosters. Say what now? That's right, kids. The next-gen stuff that's supposed to replace current Spyrex technology. Whoa, stop the press. This guy looks familiar. I suppose he does. This is Jude Mathis, the Spyrite researcher. Mom always wanted me to meet a doctor. You make me feel all chatty. Oh, Jude, you're like a celebrity. Rumor has it there's a demon prowling the alleyways of Duval. He looks just like a regular guy on the outside, but I hear he's hiding some monstrous power. He uses it to stalk his prey. <laughs> My glasses guy. Word is, even some of Brat's heavies have fallen victim. I just wrote it off as an urban legend, but maybe it's connected to the train hijacking after all. <laughs> Interesting. Put it out of your mind. Get out of your mind. Are you having trouble dealing with the train incident? That certainly was scary. No, it's not that. I can't forget those pictures on Luger's wall. They were so horrible. Oh, the wanted posters? I imagine Ivor stuck them up after he snuck in. Wanted posters? Were those supposed to be some twisted version of Luger and Glasses guy? I'm not sure if that was the intention. Did you see them, Luger? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Get that out of here! I'm trying to forget! <laughs> Odd that they're in the same style as the wanted posters in Riza Maxia. Why don't they just use photos? Luger, take a picture of yourself and bring it to the police. Maybe they'll replace it if you ask. What? Illustrations are supposed to be better at conveying the true essence of the subject. Or so I've heard. So that's the 
the true essence of Luger and Glasses Guy? That's even scarier than their creepy spear forms. Really? Maybe when criminals are confronted with these wanted posters, a lot of them crack and turn themselves in. How what did you meet this informant person? Well, you know what they say. Swim with sharks, wake up with fleas. Wait, is that how it goes? Why do we have to go to a back alley? I don't like what you're trying to make me do, game. Not at all. Do not like what you're doing. Tired of waiting for the next Juddy Place Diddy Kong Racing? Well, well... Welcome back! Well, since this game's giving me no other option, we have to go to that fucking back alley. A demon of the alleyways, stalking brat members. Uh, I'm not scared. Okay, this is just getting weird. What is going on? So is this the demon stomping grounds? I really hope it's not. What, are you scared? No way, I ain't a fraidy cat. Besides, it might help us get to Canaan. But it's not the only thing I'm curious about. What reason does Exodus have for gathering the materials to make spyrites? What's that, Chief? Did someone say spyrites? If you find folks have got the gall to spend, then I've got the goods. You mean to say you're peddling spirit fossils? You bet. Only lesser spirit class ones, though. Speaking of that, have you heard anything about people gathering spirit fossils recently? Don't beat around the bush. You mean Exodus, right? <laughs> Don't oh, move, fuck. Dr. Mathis. Bruh. We're taking you into custody unless you try something foolish. In broad daylight? Doesn't matter. These well, men. Brought agents. This crap again. Huh? What just happened? 
Wait a minute. Hey, what's the matter, buddy? You look like you've just seen a ghost. I oh, whoa, so much, yeah. But if you can't trust blah, him, blah, blah, blah. Fuck this fucking then at least trust in the spy rights. That's all I ask of you. We're so close to making them work. that Jolene. She must have ratted us out. Show no mercy. They're probably all Rizomaxians. <sighs> no mercy. Very well. Oh, awesome. You see what thing it is? I can't move! Spirit arts! A close one, this. <laughs> it's Rowan! Who? An old friend and traveling buddy. Rowan's super smart. He knows everything. So he knows where the land of Canaan is? The land of Canaan, you say? That's right, old timer. It's a magical place that grants people wishes. Do tell. <laughs> well, I got a wish for that Canaan place to grant. Death to all Riza Maxia scum. Every last one of them. Anybody who looks at you art wielding monsters and thinks you're people like us is crazy. Quite right. Charming, aren't they? <laughs> Don't look! Right, what? Rowan! What did you just do? What Made the fuck is with this Rowan? Elise, Gaius, Lady Drissel. I must avenge their deaths. Who the fuck? What, what? I must atone for dispelling the schism. What, what, who is this? No, not like this. <gasps> You're not Rowan. As well. This man isn't Rowan. Truly, every last Olympian must be sent to their doom. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is this? What is this? Who is this? Be careful. He's not the rope when we know. What is this? He's some fucking desire demon to sue Rowan's form or some shit. Weapons again. Ah, uh, God, I'm such a scrub. I guess I'll just do the slow camera for now. Really, I should read up on how to uh, switch up this again. I want you to do that. You are no my power! Healer! Power swing! Second 
Really? I don't know how I'm supposed to... I mean, it, told, it probably told me in the early episode, but I forgot. I'll just have to stick it with this sledgehammer for now. This isn't good. Yes, what do we say to the god of death? Right? We do our best. This is our chance to. I wasn't using that. Oh, wait, he's in his weird form. Alright, so we're out of whatever the fuck that weird universe was. People don't just vanish into thin air. Well, they must be hiding around here somewhere, so find them. What did you monsters do? It's more of that spirit art trickery. You really are monsters, aren't you? That's enough. <laughs> Gaius and Rowan. The actual Rowan, I presume. Who the hell are you? <gasps> You're going to tell me something. Why is Exodus so intent on gathering spyrite materials? Imagine if they unleashed an out-of-control spyrite on the world. Everyone would see the danger in it. Public support would vanish in a flash. <laughs> Indeed they would. The plan is a cunning one. Hold on a sec. You're... you're not gonna kill us? We are not the monsters you think we are. Nothing changes overnight. <laughs> it would appear that hatred of Riza Maxia runs deep within the veins of this city. Maybe you could go to the land of Canaan and wish the hate away. Beg pardon? <laughs> the land of Canaan is a magical place that grants wishes for people. <laughs> Quite the locale, that. <laughs> Alas, the power to alter men's hearts in the blink of an eye would be frightening indeed. We could easily wish away that which makes us human. It's okay. These two are the real deal. Rowan, Gaius, thank you. Erston. Huh? At the moment, I'm just a man about town, much like any other. Please, call me Erston. His Highness is traveling incognito to get a sense of public opinion in Olympias. Can you really do that? I mean, you are the king of Riza Maxia. King? I've never gotten to see a real king before. <laughs> My pleasure. 
He can be stubborn as a child, this one. What was that, Rowan? Nothing. Hey, I just thought of something. Do you think that demon of the alleyways was gut... I mean, erst in here? I mean, it could have been, but the scary Rowan looked like the glasses guy, too. The scary me? Well, you see... Interesting. It would seem you've gotten yourselves wrapped up in some sort of paranormal phenomena. Your thoughts, Rowan? Something's afoot. Based on? A hunch. Good enough for me. Now get to the bottom of it. As you wish. Would you be so kind as to allow me to accompany you henceforth? Because <laughs> I'm not an asshole. I'm Rowan Ilbert. A pleasure to make your acquaintances. Jude. I know. I can't let Exodus get me down. I'll perfect the spy right tech and prove them wrong. Let's pay Balin a visit. We conducted spyrite research together back in Helioborg. Right. And so another chapter ends. One, two, three, go! Rock beat scissors, I win again! That's six times in a row! You're unbeatable at this! You've Four certainly button. matured into quite a dependable man over the last year. I don't know about that, but thanks. Coming from you, that's a great compliment. So, you're friends with His Highness? Indeed I am. I serve at King Gaius' side as his Prime Minister. What's that? He's sort of like the King's Regent. That makes him the number two guy in all of Riza Maxia. The King's Regent? But in fairy tales, the Regent's always the villain. <laughs> hey, He's you're careful. right. They're always secretly trying to steal the kingdom or mess with the king. How could a mere child see through my ambitions? <laughs> it's true. As you've suspected, I derive great pleasure from toppling kings. I remove their pawns one by one as my loyal knights advance from the sides to flank them. We have to warn His Highness! Of course I'm talking about chess. <laughs> <laughs> what? Your regents really are mean. Rowan is pretty much always like this. Ah, uh, Rowan is awesome. Alright, so I can wear crap that other people wear. Okay, I'll, I'll just deal with that as it comes. Right, so I'm gonna need to make another paint or zoom to get to uh, where the Balin is. Yeah, make a paint on the deck. Well, we can save this deck crap for the next episode because. Oh! I think I, I've done enough for now. Catch you later!